Hey everyone, we are back with another What Sold on eBay video. Hope all of you are doing well. It's been a little while. I've been super busy with life. We'll go over that at the end here of the video if you guys want to tune in. But I know you guys are really here to see what sold. We're going to go over some stuff that sold uh, within the past month or so. So we're a little, we fell a little behind because I've been a little bit busy with other things. But a lot of these sales are still relevant. I sell all kinds of stuff that sells all year round. The goal is to buy stuff at garage sales and make some money. So hopefully these items that um, I can show you will be something to look out for. There'll probably be a couple duds in there too, so avoid those if all possible. But again, for those of you that might be new, my name's Cameron. Go by Cam. Flashback finds the channel name, and we will get into what sold on eBay. So I'll get going on that. And like I said, in the end, we'll do a little wrap-up about what's been going on and some exciting news as well. So first off, Fitness Report Writing Guide. This is for a Marines book. This is by Douglas Drury. Uh, the fourth edition got this in a big book buy. Sold for 30 bucks ship. So books do sell on eBay. They sell pretty well for me. Actually, I've made quite a bit of money. Actually, I think I have 700 and something books listed. I've kind of really gone up. A lot of those, they might be comics, manga or anime type stuff. There's also uh, manuals and stuff included in that. So it's a wide variety of different types of books, yearbooks. But you can make money selling books. Just got to find out which ones are valuable. Here's a manual right here. This is a Honda Civic. This is a supplemental one. This one sold for 15 bucks. Listed at 25. Took a best offer because it's been listed for a while. And we got 15 bucks out of that. Some Stepping Stones Entertainment DVDs. It's a lot of 12. I paid, I think, 3 bucks or 4 bucks for these at a thrift store. There was a bunch of little DVDs in here from this series. They finally sold for $24.49 on a 30% off sale. They've been up for a while. Happy to move them out. But we made some money. Here's a Haynes manual. This one, I usually don't try to buy them unless they're going to sell for about $10. Because if I pay a buck or so and they're going to sell for 10 a couple bucks to ship them, you can still make four or five bucks when it's all said and done. This one, though, ended up selling for $7.49 on 25% off sale. So not the greatest. Took a little bit while to sell. That's why it went on the sale. But we did move it out of here, and it's there to get rid of the old inventory. And uh, this is a nativity set. It's the shepherd with the lamb. This is from the Owl or Owell uh Nativity said, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but got this for 10 bucks. It was not complete, and it also had a couple of broken pieces. So what I opted to do was part them out. The figure's about this big. He ended up shipping out for around 10 bucks. So we probably made seven or eight bucks when it's all said and done. Um, and we're making that on every figure we sell. So I think we spent 10. I think we ended up listing like six or seven figures, and a couple went for a little bit higher. So it was a good deal there. You can part out those nativity sets. Here's a Stussy Designs. This is a shirt right here. This one's all for 35 shipped. I don't remember if it was this one. One of the Stussy shirts that I got was returned. Actually, two of them are returned. Um, they said the size wasn't didn't fit them right. But I've sold probably seven or eight, and all the rest went through without issue. So um, I'm not sure if it was just the people or whatever, but this one sold for 35 shipped. A great brand to look out for. A lot of their shirts do really well. Some go for like 50, 60 plus if you find the right ones. Here's a Polo Ralph Lauren uh, tie. This one sold for $8.64 on sale. It's a bad picture. It's a really old list, and you can't even really see what's going on. But it did sell for $8.64. I'm happy to see it uh, get out of here. We probably spent a dollar on it or so, and we probably made maybe a dollar on it or so. So not really worth all the time and investment there. But with a good picture, it might have sold better. Another old list, this is some Trivial Pursuit, totally 80s. These are the little tokens. Uh, I got this, uh, got a Trivial Pursuit like in a big bulk buy, and it was not had been pretty much nothing in there, just a board, a couple of little cards, and then these guys were in there. I opted to part them out, thought I might get some money, but they took forever to sell and finally sold for six sixty four. You can part out board game pieces. It is a you know can be a little bit of profit there if you find the right ones, but obviously some of them don't sell as well. This is a Christmas Expressions, a little pyramid like a windmill. It's different tiers. It had a couple of broken pieces on it, but I got it for I think five bucks or seven bucks at a thrift store or something like that and i ended up selling it for a best offer of 80 ship this was right before christmas person bought it super happy with that because 80 bucks into five i think we ended up spending around 20 to ship it it's super light just had to bubble wrap it nicely in the box and then put the box in some additional padding but got 80 bucks look out for those little carousel pyramid ones some of them do really well here's another thing that sold right before christmas this 90s grinch um sweater or crew neck or whatever you want to call it um, this one was from 95. Did not have a size tag. I put down as a medium because that's what it appeared to measure at. And it sold for $35 on a best offer. This was a dollar or two dollars from a thrift store or a garage sale. I actually had the GoPro video for that too. Names Volume 1 by the Zeros from the Rock and Roll Buy. CD sold for $11.04. Here's a Bratz Electric Funk Glimmer and Camera. I bought a bunch of this Bratz stuff for $2 each. It was all brand new sealed. This one sold for $23 shipped. It went out first class. Um, 
I sold the Bratz purses for a lot of money, like 150 bucks for two of them. Those sold really well. The little cameras and stuff have not really sold as quickly, but we made some money and they're all brand new sealed. They'll probably sell eventually. Next box 360 Slim. This is the um, four gigabyte console, black, no controllers, no games. Sold it for 66.49. Still pretty good if you can find them. They sell really well, the four gig consoles, but um, not for a ton, but it's probably better to part a controller with here. Maybe a game or two if you have them and you can make a little bit of money that way. Some Nike Air Max Gray Wolf White Size 4 C. So these are little toddler shoes. I'll pick up the Nike Jordan or Air Max um, toddler shoes. If they're a buck or two, I'll usually grab them. Usually you can find them that'll sell for like 15 to maybe 25 for me on the ones I've had. And people are usually pretty happy with them. I know some people like to get matching ones with their kid. It's like the dad might have shoes or the mom might have shoes and they get the matching one for the little ones. That's always cute, but I don't know if that's what happened here, but 20 bucks shipped. Facing Future by Israel Kamakawiwe. I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, this one uh, sold for $17 shipped. Brand new sealed CD. I got it from, I think, a thrift store for $1.99, and it sold for $17. Bucks. If you're at the thrift store and you're looking at CDs, maybe just start with the brand new sealed ones. That's an easy way to start to try to find some that are worth money. Here's a Casio Tone MT36 keyboard. Got this from Storage Unit Guy in a big bulk buy. It did work, had the power cord. It sold for 60 shipped. Not really much to ship it. I want to say 13 bucks or 12 something to ship it because it was fairly light in a long box, but it didn't go on the oversized because it was pretty narrow. So $60 there. Some of the keyboards do really, really well. Some can go for 100 something plus. Obviously, there's some that are just huge and bulky and not really worth your time. Try to find the ones that look up the model number. Some of them have some value. Here's one of the last few pairs of Ariat jeans. This one sold for $37. We're in these for about $8 and some change. At a thrift store, we bought seven pairs. They go in a padded flat rate and they all sold beautifully. They are the FR, the fire resistant or flame resistant ones. Uh, Grand Slam Tennis for the Wii. This game took a little while to sell, but it did sell for $17.84. I did not, I listed it at $21 and I went back. I'm like, why did I list it so high? I guess it's not the most common game, but I got $17.84 for that. So that's pretty cool. One of those sports games might be worth looking out for. Probably uh, priced a little bit less than I did because it took a while to sell, but there's some money there. This one was a return. It's a serious remote. It sold for $11. It seemed to work. The little signal came on when you hit the buttons. The guy said it wouldn't work with his system. Who knows if it was his system or whatever, but once we got it back, we were funded them, and I ended up disposing of the remote. I'm not going to put it back out there again if it might have the same issue, so got rid of that one. That one was a bummer. Here's a Kyocera Duraplus. I got a bunch of these phones from a storage. My friend bought a storage unit. And he sold me a bunch of these phones. They were all, a lot of them were like salesman sampler type phones almost, where the guy had a bunch of like rugged phones for like uh, construction workers or people working. Obviously, where you need a tough, durable phone in the field somewhere. Um, most of them I lotted together and sold. This was one I had a little leftover one. I found it listed and it sold for 20 bucks. So they all, all of them worked. They were tied to Sprint, but they all could be activated. We checked on it with Sprint to make sure they weren't stolen or anything. And they could be reactive. They just had to have someone kind of get them onto an account. But that one sold for 20 bucks. Here's Pokemon Ruby, Game Boy Advance. Be careful on these Game Boy Advance Pokemon ones. A lot of them have are counterfeit, especially if you look online and you see some selling for brand new for 20 bucks. That is not a brand new Pokemon Ruby. That is definitely a fake one. Uh, a used good one should go for, this one sold for 40 So if you had a brand new one, it's going to go for way more than that. So keep an eye out. There's some uh, things online you can search to find out how to authenticate it, which is a great thing to do. So look out for those online. You should be able to figure if yours is real or not. If not, maybe reach out to me and I can send you some links as well. That one's that one was from a Game Boy buy. I think we had like two bucks in each game, and it was that one sold for forty. An Apple iPad Mini two tablet, just the box, sold for ten thirty nine. Did ship out first class. We didn't make a ton on this one, but it's on its way. Namco Museum for the three hundred and sixty. Bought this from a garage sale for two dollars. I ended up selling for twenty ships. So a good game for three hundred and sixty. Look out for twenty bucks on a used game. There are not a ton of the three hundred and sixty games that are worth that kind of money. So if you can find them and remember the names, you might be able to you know make some money in the future. Here's a trip light, a power distribution unit. It's like a surge protector almost. Um, this one had a big, thick, heavy cord, pretty big unit. I got it for five bucks at a garage sale. It was kind of just making a pile and the person kind of threw that. You should take this too. They knew I was a reseller. They said, you can make money. These go for like 80 bucks. Looked them up online and the comps weren't that great. Sold mine for 45 ship though. Shipping ended up being like 16 or 17 bucks FedEx. I've been shipping a lot of FedEx items lately, guys. 
it's been working for me. Not saying you have to do it, but definitely check on the prices. FedEx and UPS have been way more com uh, competitive lately than they have been in the past for me. This is a Tom Selleck uh, Magnum PI 1982 poster. Not the best picture. You can see the glare there. I was kind of in a rush while I was taking these, kind of at the last bit of my listing session, and I kind of regret it because they don't look that great. You can see the glare. But this poster we got, we spent, I think, 12 bucks on like six posters, um, all Tom Selleck ones. These one, This one sold for 38 bucks on a best offer. I had it listed at like 50. Someone said, would you take 38? And I said, sure. And this one sold. So we already made all of our money back, and we have a couple other ones left. They're not all worth a lot of money, and they weren't in perfect shape. But old posters can have value. Got to do your research, and I'm sure some of you know more about posters than me. Here's a Pier 1 um, Christmas ornament sold for $25 shipped. Don't even think this one made it to them around Christmas. I think it probably got there after Christmas based on when they bought it. But obviously, they were in the mood. This one sold for $25. Here's a Hometics Jet Spa Luxury Bath. Got this for $10, I think, at a garage sale. Brand new open box. I ended up selling it for $90 shipped. Awesome deal. Sold on the 10% off sale for $90. Bucks. Super happy about that. Look out for the hometics, the massagers, different stuff. Especially if it's brand new. But even the little hand massagers that you can like massage your back and stuff. They do really well online. Most of mine sell pretty quickly. This one I listed a little high because it was brand new in box. But it did sell. Uh, Bible Stories. This is like a coloring book by Whitman from 1968. Uh, had this one in a big book buy, listed it for 25 bucks, which seems way high because it probably is. Sometimes I get a little greedy when I'm listing them. I don't see comps, I'll list mine high and put offer, but it finally sold on sale for $16.62. It went out first class. This is a Cowboys hat. This is one of the ones that we lost to the, the great uh, debacle of the fourth quarter mailing system. This one, the guy, it, after like five or six days, the item uh, was just not showing up on tracking. We put in a search request and everything, nothing could happen. And then it went to the point of time where eBay said, you had that after that many days without an update, it was considered lost. So I just refunded the guy 10 bucks. I never went back to look to see if it arrived. And I bet it probably did. They never messaged me though, but that was a casualty to the uh, U USPS. I mean, they were overwhelmed to be fair. It wasn't just the workers. They just had way too many packages. A lot of people that were sick, I heard. Limited staffing because of COVID, all kinds of things. And they obviously fell behind. So feel bad for those guys, but it sounds like they're doing a lot better lately. Hopefully getting things out on time. Here's a Tamiya. This is a little promo sampler CD, but it's autographed by the artist. No COA. It looked legit. No of a mouther. I listed mine for 19 bucks. The regular CD sold for like three bucks. Listed this one, Sid signed, and someone overseas bought it for 19 shipped, and they were super happy and left positive feedback. So great deal there. We have an Anime Expo program guide. Got these in a big buy from Storage Unit Guy. They had a lot of like archery magazines and um, anime expos and Comic Con type stuff. Just a random mix all in this one box. I pretty much took it all. There was a comp on one of these guides from like 2008 that sold for I think $10 free shipping. I'm like, oh, this mine for $17. They're not worth a whole lot. It sold that day almost instantly for $17. Bucks. I knew I probably should have listed it higher or auction style, but I got 17 out of it. I was happy because it was I probably paid a dollar for it or less. It was just in a big bundle of stuff. But 17 bucks on that one. A PS1 tested and working, paid five bucks at a garage sale. Came with all the cords um, and a couple of games, nothing really valuable. Ended up selling the PS1 though for $40 shipped. Uh, the the controllers that were with it were actually not they worked, but they weren't really in good shape. I would not include them in this kind of a listing. I just kept them to put in my controller part slot. Uh, ended up opting to list this like this for 40 bucks. This is an LG adapter here. It's a power cord, 19 volts, so a little bit of a higher end power one. And this one sold for 25 shipped. It was just in a box of power cords that I bought. I usually will buy them if they're a buck or so, two bucks for a whole box. Sometimes someone wants to just get rid of them. If I see some um, HDMI cables or RCA cables or something I might need in there, I'll ask them what they want for everything. And if it's a good deal, I'll buy it. This one I did, and I pulled this power cord out of here, and I sold it for 25 bucks. So look up your old power cords if you have some lying around or at a garage sale, if you can throw them in a bundle. Some might have some value. A lot of them don't, but some of them do. Here's a Herp Alpert. This is a Tijuana Brass CD. This one sold for $8.09 on sale. Not much to say there. Look out for these. The Sony PlayStation Move controllers, $45 shipped. Always a cool thing to find these little Move controllers. Um, 45 bucks on that one. This is a VHS here, um, Blackula, the VHS, William Marshall's in there. This one sold for $15.29. I got it in a bunch of old um, vintage VHS. There was a lot of horror movies in there, as well as a lot of old like crime stuff and just weird stuff. 
Uh, this one sold for $15.29. A MacBook Air 13-inch box sold for $17.99, just a box only. Here's a Polaroid One Step. These are still selling for me, $25 shipped. Goes in a pad of flat rate. I usually put some bubble wrap on it, throw it in there. Ships out that, that rate. GameCube that I got, kind of a bummer on this one. I got it, I think I spent five or six bucks on it. It was console only. I thought for sure it was going to work. It did not. It would not read any discs. And it was making a noise while it was running. Ended up selling it for parts for 35 shipped, which is still pretty good. I still made money, good money on it actually. But bummer because I always like selling the GameCube stuff. It does really well. We have a Victoria's Secret a Heavenly Angels perfume, a Dream Angels perfume. This little one sold for $38 shipped. Uh, it came in a big bundle of uh, Victoria's Secret, like a little gift box set. And I parted out each individual perfume perfume because they're older. And they've all been selling really, really well. So that's good. Here's an Apple MacBook Pro 13.3 inch model. That, uh, this one sold for a 28 ship. So a pretty good deal. They, this one goes over a pound. So it ships for like that 8 to 12 mark, depending on where it's going. Because I'm in California, obviously. But um, I, I only pay like a dollar for these usually. If I can find them for a buck, I'll grab them. If not... Um, I don't really want to spend much more than that on them because they take a while to sell sometimes and you're not going to make a ton. But for a buck, I'll grab them. SpongeBob SquarePants Light Camera Action. This was in my GameCube game. I have like a box of each system's games that aren't really that valuable. And once I build up a nice little amount of it, I'll sell them as like, a, I don't want to say a wholesale lot, but kind of like that. A big bulk buy of whatever particular system it is. I was looking through my GameCube one and I found this game. Like, I bet you this one's actually valuable. And sure enough, it's worth 14 bucks. So I'm not sure why it ended up in there. But it went out for 14 Local H, ham-fisted. This CD sold for 25 shipped. This was a recent CD buy. I got like probably 60 CDs for 10 bucks. This one was in there and it sold for 25 bucks. Awesome deal. Love selling CDs. We have a... To do, this is a Martha Stewart punch. Not a great one. It sold for $9.09. But every time I sell a Martha Stewart punch, I want to remind you guys to look out for the Halloween ones. The pumpkin, the witch skeleton i don't know if there's a ghost one whatever it is the halloween ones for me always do well this one didn't do that great but it did sell uh this is a sun gold wrestler it sold for 20 dollars shipped it's from my 80s action figure buy this was a uh, one of those and then i sold another one here for 14.99 same buyer bought both of them so they were in them for what uh, 35 bucks or so and i probably have i don't know a couple bucks in each of them so not too bad here's one of my um Retail arbitrage type buys. This is from a discount store, but it's still brand new items. I bought these Alba Botanica deodorants. I'm in them for about $6 and some change each. I sold them for $22 uh, free shipping. They ship out first class. We actually make pretty decent money on them, so I really can't complain about that. But um, $22 shipped on that. I, I want to say we're probably bringing in somewhere around $10 or $11 bucks when it's all said and done. Maybe my math is off, but I'm only spending 6 something, and I could buy them in bulk, which is pretty cool. Here's a Loman Bill Harper Series Model 117 Hunter's Choice Duck Call. This one sold for $32.50. It was brand new sealed. The person who bought it, though, got it and returned me one that did not match the one I had. The packaging was all opened up, and the unit was looked like it had been used and kind of messed up. They returned it. I did one of those 50% breakdowns on it, and um, they never responded, so eBay ended up closing out the return. So we ended up actually getting half of our money back, I guess, or whatever, but... Kind of a bummer that they didn't in the past. Okay, we also have another set of Alba Botana, Botanica deodorant. This little set again sold for 22 shipped. Um, that stuff's been selling pretty well for me. I'll have like, I'll sell three sets and then I won't sell anything for like a week or two. And then all of a sudden someone will buy two and someone will buy one. The, th the store that has them has a bunch of them, but I haven't bought them all because I'm not one to go overboard with that kind of stuff um, unless I know it's selling really quickly. If they were selling every day, then yeah, I'd buy them all. I actually, I'd go in there and actually ask for a deal to buy them all, but they're kind of taking their time. So I'm like, I'm just going to kind of stock up slowly on them. Here's a Brayburn touchscreen thermostat sold for $50 shipped. Pretty good deal for that. We spent $2 for it at a garage sale. History of the English speaking people. This is a Winston Churchill book set, set of four books. Not the best picture. You can see that the shadowing was not good. Uh, it's been up for a little while. 15% off sale happened, but someone ended up offering 62 bucks. I think we're in it for five or 10 bucks for the set. Love to get that one out of here for 62 bucks. I love selling books on eBay. I make quite a bit of money on books, more than people might think. Um, and a lot of people just overlook them. Alias Season 4 sold for $10.79. Uh, just a DVD set there. Turok Rage Wars for the Game Boy sold for $10 shipped. We have a Scar Louie Thomas and Friends train. I'll usually part these out individually. I've told you guys before. This one sold for $13 shipped. So awesome deal there. Here's an Xbox 360 Slim 4 gig with the, co the a controller. 
This one sold for 85 ships. So we went from 67 with that one, throw a controller in there, and now you're at 85 ships. And this one actually sold quicker with the controller. So definitely worth doing. We have a, sorry about that, my phone made a noise. A Nat Nass, this is a Pima Cotton four button shirt. I don't really buy a lot of clothes anymore. This one was up for a while. Finally sold them the best offer at 15 bucks. So that's it. Again, I don't sell a lot of clothes, but I am happy to um, get rid of them. Always love to get them out of here because uh, we're trying to make room for other stuff. And for those of you who might be new, um, I wanted to say a couple things to kind of catch you guys up. One, we are expecting our baby here next month in February, so that's exciting. Her name will be Victoria. So if any, a couple people have asked, so that's exciting. She should be coming here. I'll be sure to show her you guys when it happens. Um, so that way you guys, those, I know some of you might want to see. Um, but super excited about that. We actually have two boys, um, and we have an older one, Noah, you may have seen him. He's not 10 now. And then we have Zane, who's two. He'll be three coming up pretty soon. So hoping to kind of show them more and the wife more in future videos because we also uh, got a house recently, guys. So we just bought a house. Uh, we're going through some remodeling stuff on it, getting the garage set up, and we'll be in there pretty soon. Uh, definitely exciting news. Uh, one reason I want to tell you guys is because um, I would not be able to do this. Obviously, there's a lot of factors. I want to thank the Lord for us getting the house. It's a crazy story. Maybe I'll tell you guys one day, too, if you want. But... Um, uh, the, a lot of the money that we made um, was from eBay that allowed us to put a down payment down and, and, and even get in the position to be able to get a house. So I obviously have a full-time job. A lot of you guys know that already, but um, uh, eBay is a big part of our, our life and it helps us financially significantly. So super blessed by it. And that's why I you know want to help people because this really helped change my life and I believe it can help others. Even if you don't want to do it as much as I do, you can still make some side money doing eBay. And um, like I said, the house is kind of one of the benefits of that. So we're excited, but we're hoping when we get in it, we're converting our whole garage. It's basically a three car, almost garage, like two and a half oversized garage. Um, and we're going to have all of our eBay inventory there in one spot instead of in storage, which is huge for us because right now I have to go to storage every day. And then if something sells at nighttime, I have to go pick it up the next day because we have one day handling. If I forget to bring tape home because I thought we had some here. And then it's all in storage, all my extra. So I can kind of create a bit of a difficulty there. We won't have to do that anymore. It'll all be there. But I'm hoping to do more of a different kind of style of video too, where I show you guys the item, but you see me. Maybe you see the family there working in the garage together. And we can kind of get back into more, uh, not just me sitting here going over everything. Even though I think it works and I try to be quick about it, I'm hoping I can still be pretty quick, but show you guys the where we're at, kind of the location, how we're storing stuff, show you the items as well, and show you the screenshot, and maybe see my wife a little bit, and she can be a part of it, and see the, the boys, and obviously Victoria when she comes. So I'm hoping to change it a little bit. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I do appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. It's been crazy with the house and escrow and things being delayed and just been busy listing and trying to stay on top of it. And also my wife is getting closer and closer to the baby being due. So that's been keeping us busy. But I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.